In this video, I'm going to talk about sharing your screen from a Blackboard Collaborate Ultra session. But before I go into Blackboard, I want to just quickly mention that it's usually a good idea to start up the applications that you want to share before you go into, into Learn and before you start the session in, in which you want to share those. So if you look on my desktop at the moment, I have a PDF reader in which I've got the exercises that I'm going to want to discuss in my in my um, learn session. I have LibreCAD, which is a drawing program that, that we're using in my module to draw those exercises. I also have a browser open, which I'm going to use to go into to learn. And it has a number of tabs open. So it has a Blackboard tab, it has a Moodle tab, a YouTube tab, and a Google tab. And then I also have my file browser open as well. So I'm just going to open the PDF reader and LibreCAD and then I'm going to come to my browser. Obviously you need to log into Blackboard Learn and you, into the module in which you want to create a session that you're going to share your screen in. Then you can go down and click on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. And it seems that I've been logged out because I took too long, but left my machine alone for a while. So I'm going to log in again quickly and just log in. And we get back to where we were. Go to my module, scroll down, click on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, and wait for a minute or two while that starts up. Okay. And then you may have uh, scheduled sessions created that you want to use. I don't have any at the moment, so I'm just going to use the course room. The course room is kind of a session that is always open and available to students and to you to hop into the session at any time that you need to. So I'm going to hop into that session and join the course room. All right, and now I'm in the session. I'm obviously the only one in the session at the moment. As you can see down here, my mic and my video are turned off. But again, that's not, not a problem because there's no one here to, to hear me or to see me even if I did turn them on. And down here on the bottom right hand side, we have the Collaborate panel. If we open that, there's a number of tools that we can use. The first is the um, text chat panel where you can type things in here and everybody in the session will see that and participants in the panel in the in the session can type responses etc the next one is the participant list um, they would be listed here a number of everybody that's that's in the session at the moment there are a few tools under this um, menu item over here that allows you to change permissions for particular participants um, to mute their mic those kinds of things and then over here there's the share content panel and this is the one that we're going to look at now there are a number of different kinds of content that we can share you can share a blank whiteboard that you can then draw on um, and depending on your permission settings you can have participants also draw on that whiteboard or not depending on how you want to work it um, there's also an option to share various files like PowerPoint files and PDFs etc that you can then share with the participants in the session and then there's the share application screen tool. And this is the one that we're going to look at at the moment. So when I click on this, it gives me a couple of options. So I can share my entire screen. And at the moment, it's showing me a single screen over here. I usually work with my laptop plugged into an external monitor, in which case it would show me two screens over here, two options, one being the laptop screen itself and the other being the external monitor and whatever windows are open on that. The other option is to share a specific application window. And this is why I suggested that you should open any application that you want to share with your students before you start the session, because then those application windows will be showing. So as you can see here, there's Google Chrome open, there's the uh, LibreCAD that I'm going to be using to, to do drawings, and there's the PDF reader with my exercises in it. And then lastly, there's the option of sharing a Chrome tab. And it, 
is aware of what tabs I have open in Chrome so I can share a specific tab either the Moodle one, my YouTube one, Google, the Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, or we could in fact share this session, but that doesn't really make sense to share a screen that's looking at the screen I'm looking at. You end up with quite a kind of recursive thing going on there. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to the application window and I'm going to share to start with the LibreCAD window. And I can then just say share. And it takes me to LibreCAD. Now, I can carry on and I can work in LibreCAD here and I can do things. The problem with and, and what's happening, if I if I switch back to um, to Chrome to see my um, session in the session, you can see the screen. Now, obviously, I can't drive. I can't do things in this LibreCAD because this is the view of LibreCAD. It's not the actual application. So if I want to do something in here, I have to go back to that application and then, you know, draw perhaps another line or, or whatever it is that I want to do. Okay. And then I can then go back to, to my session and we can, and, and the students or the participants in the session can see what I've been doing. And if I'm finished with that, then I can turn off says sharing. And then I can go back and I can share, for example, the exercises if I want to have a look at that. And then it brings me back, it opens the PDF document. And there is this button down the bottom here to say stop sharing when I'm finished. If I go back to, to the session, this is what the participants are seeing. And I can say stop sharing from here as well. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit of a pain to switch between one session, one um, application and another. You have to kind of stop sharing and then share and choose the other application. So what I find is usually easier to do is not to share a particular application window, but rather to share my entire screen. Uh, and then I'm going to say, I wonder why that won't let me share. Oh, okay, sorry, because I hadn't selected it. Okay, so if I select that window, then I can say share. And now I'm sharing the same thing that as the screen that I'm looking at. And as you can see, you get this really nice recursive thing going on. But if I switch to, for example, LibreCAD, now I'm again working in LibreCAD, but the participants in the session are seeing that LibreCAD. Okay. And then I can go back to the session and we go back to that. Now, it doesn't work so well when I'm working on a single screen. Okay. It works better if you have an external monitor plugged into, into your laptop. That way you can have your session, your browser open with the session showing on one screen and the applications that you want to work with in my case LibreCAD and PDF on a different screen and that way you don't end up getting um, this kind of effect and you also have the opportunity of being able to both work in the application that you want to work in on one screen but see what the participants in your session are seeing on the other screen and they don't overlap with each other. So um, I find it's really helpful if you can actually have, have an external monitor plugged into your laptop to give you those two different views. Okay, and then I'm going to stop sharing here. And we go back to just a normal session. I um, hope you find that helpful and thanks for watching.